apart from yourself, obviously, who do you rate as the number one like heavyweight in the world right now? Who do you think is the number one guy? I like Hopkins. I think Hopkins is still, is still, you know, a class act when it, when when he puts his mind to it, um, and when he needs to pull out a performance. I think he produces the goods. Um, yeah, and Travoris Cloud is dangerous. Uh, Jurgen Bremer, he's he's one of the most dangerous in there. Um, and I think I'm I'm the, the the youngster coming through who could be the best of the lot, really. As I'm sure you know, Enzo Macarelli is making a comeback like heavyweight. Yeah. Um, already the internet is full of rumours about yourself yeah. possibly fighting Enzo in a, your first title defence here in Wales. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, obviously he's decided to come down to light heavyweight, um, probably, you know, because he thinks I'm going to be world champion now and, you know, he probably wants, wants a shot at, at, at the, the world, the world title. You know, he's, he's obviously not going to get the opportunity at cruiserweight, so he, you know, being Welsh, probably hope that he's going to get the fight with me. Um, but I think provided I beat Bremer. You know, I've got, you know, a lot of big fights mm. out there for me. You know, like the American guys. They are going to be on my radar, firstly, because they're going to be the big money fights. Um, you know, but if Mark had earned his position, if he, you know, he, he's obviously got to get in, into position to, to be worthy of fighting me. You know, I'm the champion. Or I will be the champion. So he's got to prove he's ready to fight me. And um, if it happens in the future, it happens, you know. I'm, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm still going to remain undefeated, and you know, I'm, I'm going to be the champ. But who would win if Nathan Cleverly fought Joe Calzaghe at like heavyweight? <laughs> That's a difficult question. <laughs> well, yeah, we kind of difficult, difficult to answer that one, isn't it? you know, because of obviously my respect for Joe. His respect for me is. is uh, Should we just say it'd be a close cool fight? Is, yeah, no doubt. You know, it'd be it'd be a great fight, wouldn't it? You know, similar, both warriors, um, and both, you know, kind of got that winner's mentality, so that, you know, be tremendous. But, you know, I think it'd be a, a bit harsh to to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> At times, it appears you'd rather stand and fight out in the trenches, as you mentioned, rather than using your boxing skills. That's always the way it's going to be as well. You know, I've got no no plan in changing that. Um, I'll box at times, and in nearly all my fights, I'll probably get in and, and go to town and, and have a good tear-up with my opponents. That's what I love. And the reason I can do that is because when I do it, no many opponents can can live with that um, ferocity that I fight at. So, you know, I kind of enjoy that, and I want to maintain that. It's a it's a fan friendly style. Mm. They they seem to love it. Um, the only disadvantage is that people say you're not going to have a long career if you if you fight like that. But six more fights, um, remain undefeated. I'd be happy. I'd be happy. I retire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in your fight with Karo Morat, you call on a begging you almost to sort of box. Yeah. And Frank Warren was quite animated ringside, <laughs> banging the ring up and down in your corner screaming, yeah. box, Nathan, box. Yet every round you went out there yeah. <clears throat> and then straight back in the trenches. Yeah, well, the the only uh, people that had belief, I suppose, 100% belief in, in that fighting style was myself, my dad and Alan, my trainers, because we're in the gym all the time together, so they know what I can do. I know what I can do. Um, obviously, for the guys outside, they was a little bit cautious and, and wary because they thought it was crazy the way I boxed. But I knew, I knew I had the fight. I knew I had it wrapped up. You know, there was, was no way was he going to beat me. Um, that's, that's the attitude I had. So that's why I fought like that. Being well documented, you got a highly educated, you got a degree in maths from Cardiff University. So a lot of people would, would ask the question, why have you chosen one of the hardest sports of all to make your profession? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I could have a comfortable life outside boxing, uh, just use my academic background to 
get myself a, a nice job, well paid. Um, but I have a dream, and the dream is to become world champion uh, boxing. So until I achieve that dream, the mission goes on. And May 21st, um, I'm getting closer to that dream. So, you know, it's a hard sport, a brutal sport, in fact. But I love it. You know, I, I, I just, I think, naturally, I'm deep down, I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter at heart. So, you know, that's why I've chose boxing, and that's why, you know, I've, I've decided to continue with it. Do you wake up some mornings and think when there's ice on the ice on the cars and there's frosty and snow? Mm. Do you think, do I really want to go for a run this morning? I could, <laughs> yeah. I could just be an accountant now or a lawyer yeah, yeah. or a solicitor earning excellent yep. money without getting punched in the face. Many without a time. Go out freezing cold. Yeah, many a time. You know, it's, boxing is it's a difficult sport. It's a solitary environment. Um, you wake up some mornings and because it, it can be extra difficult for me because I've got something else in life rather than solely boxing. So sometimes, you know, I, I think, you know, here we go. I've got to get switched on mentally, ready to push your body again in training, um, where I could have a comfortable life, earning nice money outside the sport. But you know, that, that sport at, at the top level, that's the pressure you face. Um, that's the difficulties. But overcoming those, it's just such a great feeling. Um, and overall, I just love the buzz. Of, of pushing my body, of winning, remaining undefeated, and becoming a champion.